I'm just going to do a little bit of leave it practice. So we've been practicing putting it on the ground. This is cheese, so it's pretty high value for him. Tough for him to leave alone. So he's up to over here. What's he doing? Good. Leave it. Yes, good boy. Um, so when I train this, if the dog goes for the thing I've asked him to leave, I just cover it with my hand. So you can use that. Like if you asked him to leave something, he's still going for it. You can just put your hand over top of it or move towards it. And a lot of times the dog will just back right away and be like, oops, yeah, that's right. <laughs> just be leaving it. Leave it. <laughs> I know it's so hard. Good boy. I'd prefer that the barking wasn't a part of that, but... He does the barking out of frustration. He just has a hard time waiting and leaving that food alone. So that on his end, the barking is just an expression of his frustration. Leave it. So when he can look at me and give me eye contact, that's how, well, that's when he gets his reward. And I give him a piece of cheese that's not part of what's on the ground there. Leave it. Yes, good boy. So we're asking him to ask for permission before going for things that I've asked him to leave alone. And if you do it enough, so we practiced this. I started just in my hand like this. Leave it. Good boy. Um, he's doing quite well with that. Um, but the on the ground is harder. Leave it. So if we repeat this enough, good boy. He should have an automatic inclination to just leave things alone when they hit the ground. So if you're cooking or someone drops something, he shouldn't dart towards it. He should back up and look at you like, hey, I know this game. Are you going to give me something? And you can just give him, like if you see you've dropped something and it's like food or something that he normally is excited about and he backs off and just looks at you, then you can be like, good boy, and give him like a piece of kibble or a treat or something inside. Or if you're outside on a walk and you have some higher value treats, you can give him that if he leaves something alone. That's really exciting. I'm going to walk. Leave it. I usually incorporate it into our off leash time. So I'll play this, like dropping food um, randomly while we're walking around. And I find that that helps to proof them for real life on leash behaviors. When they're out and about and there's just garbage on the ground or something. Leave it. I also find it's nice, like, if you have. I always drop treats while I'm training. It's kind of like a Butterfingers thing. Good boy. Um, but if they know to leave it really well, they don't. It doesn't interrupt your training because <laughs> they won't go for it. They're just like, oh, I'll just wait till you give me one for doing it. That's a good boy. Good job.